hello good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are watching me from you are welcome to, to to my channel if you are stopping by for the very first time please don't make it the last and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by let us make crunchy granuts yeah i sorted out my granuts i removed the dead the spoiled ones the bad ones i just sorted them out trying to remove all the ones i don't want you definitely need to pick this else you might not end you might not like the results of your roasted peanuts at the end of the day so you just take your time to sort it you sort out the good ones from the bad ones then we proceed to certain aspect so yeah i'm still sorting it out you have to take your time to sort out sort them out properly sorting them out you cannot overemphasize it you have to sort them out properly as you can see that's what i am doing please if you have watched to this point don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to subscribe please so at this point I was pouring it into my warm water. I have added salt into it. So I just allow it to sit in this water for a few minutes. I take it out and I'll sun dry it. I'm pouring them into the bowl of my salted water. Adding my, I'm just adding my salt to it. I discovered the salt I added was not enough, so I added more salt to it. I mix it together and I allow it to sit in a place for like 10 to 15 minutes. So at this point, I am draining my water out of my granite. So I just shake it out, take out the excess water, like so. Try as much as possible to remove all the water from the granite. So just try to shake it, shake it well, so you can remove the water. Then I'm pouring it on my tray to sun dry for say two hours. For like two hours, yes, that's what I did. I sun to dry for two hours, then I proceeded to frying. So here is me. I'm using Gary instead of the normal sand we know how to use. I'm using Gary so that it doesn't get sandy. That's why I prefer to use Gary. Yeah, I'm just trying to spread it out evenly and to test if they are if the granite um, Gary is hot enough. For me to start roasting so that's what i'm just using my hand to check here so at this point i was trying to get the hotness of my gary to start roasting so yeah i've started roasting i've poured it in and i start stirring you have to stir continually so that you don't have one part of your granite burnt. So you stir, you stir. This is a major stirring process. You have to stir continually, continually, yes, continually. So one of one side does not get burnt. You get what I mean? So you keep stirring. You you have to continue stirring it for like forty five minutes. So at this point, you can see that it's, the peel is coming off gradually, but it's not yet there. So you continue again. It can be tricky. It can be very tricky. You continue. You continue stirring. Make sure you stir. You don't have to remove your hand from it. Just continue stirring it, so that it doesn't get burnt. In total, it takes about 40 45 minutes on low heat to get cooked. 
So that's what I am doing here, just staring and staring and staring. And at the end, you have to remove one or two grain, put it down, allow it to cool down, peel it, then you know if it is ready or not. Because you won't get the crunchiness from the fire like this. It has to cool down completely before you know if it is crunchy or not. So the trick I use is I take one or two, put it aside, allow it to cool down completely, peel it, then I taste. If it is crunchy to my liking, I stop. If not, I continue. So you do like so until you are satisfied with the crunchiness of your granite. So at the end of the day, this is how my granite came out after I have peeled it. It was crunchy. I have not finished peeling it here, but I like it like this. Since it was for personal consumption. So that was why I left it like this. And seriously, this, this peanuts taste so good. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you.